These days I don't worry about much I think we should have some more fun I still dream about the days when we were young I'll take a hit and still Welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, if you enjoy vlogs, you enjoy discussions, work out videos, we have everything here. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Alright guys, so it's been a very long time since we have done like a sit down video. And of course, Nia is here with us. She usually do these videos with us. And as you can see from the title, we are going to talk about things we will not be doing as adults. So we're just going to jump straight into this video. Alright, so one of the things I will not be doing anymore in this stage of my life, actually, henceforth, I will not be doing period, is oversharing. So you know, oh, yeah, boy. So you know how. We like to be relatable. If somebody tells a story or share that experience, like, oh my gosh, I have a story too. Or yeah. you wanna be, you wanna say something when somebody says something, and yeah. sometimes because you wanna match energy, match yes. your energy, yes. you, you overshare information that you should not be saying. They say that now other people know your personal, intimate business. Why you feel the need to yeah. say something yeah. just to say something bad because you don't want like probably don't want the awkward silence yeah. or you just wanna. Be relatable. So mm -hmm. I did that before. I was like, oh my, I should have never said that. What I just do right now, like if somebody sharing something with me, and I stop sharing, like stop with certain people, but like if yeah. somebody sharing something with me, I'll, I'll just make everything about them. Like, yeah. How yeah. do you feel about this? Or well, how long this happening to you? Or you know, everything is about you. If you want to share, if you want to tell me whatever, you tell me. But I'm not gonna try to relate to you. And sometimes exactly. people just want to share but and not want, to... want no feedback or exactly. something. Just listen. Yeah. Sometimes when I used to overshare, I would go overboard. <laughs> So you have something to say, have something to say twice. It's like we <laughs> you know, like everybody yeah. not supposed to know every detail, every yeah. aspect, everything about you. They're not supposed to know, and you shouldn't give that information voluntarily. Like, yeah. why especially would you like, do that? Especially strangers, just like especially just like I would don't be scared. Exactly, because like, I used to feel like I would be so honest. Exactly. Where about you? No, okay, like the yeah. Yeah. Like, and you know, you know, like if you know me, you know, like for people and everybody talking, and they feel like okay. She share, you share, you feel like you have to say something. Yeah, I feel noise. No? Noise. You tell me you will do something, I will never tell you I will do that same thing or even worse. Oh, yeah. Because that's not free to know, that's for me mm -hmm. and me only. Yeah. So yeah, I'm not oversharing anymore. I like her. So one thing I will be doing now that I'm older, I'm adult, and like in the future too, would be making like careless health decisions when it comes to my health. Mm -hmm. I feel as though because you look good, <laughs> regardless, and it's a killer. Especially when I was younger, I see eat whatever time, I see eat whatever I want, and I need to exercise, I do whatever I want, and thing. Mm. And I feel as you're getting older, like your body's starting to slow down. Yeah. And I see people so always yeah. tell me that, like your body, and so I'm like, okay, but well, I'm still good. But it's like, I start to feel the mental and also like, like like it dope like internally feel good now yeah so like now that like, older like eating biscuits and thing right true i find yeah. that kind of thing like like you can have your desserts you can have your stuff but i feel mm -hmm. like you should start taking care of your body like better and in a more true. physical sense especially making time to exercise and yes. go to the gym and just taking care of that physical part yeah because i feel as though when you're young it's like it's not too much of a burden because it's like you're young, you just have a sense of like a carefree sense. Yeah. But then when you get older, like as a lady, you start to <laughs> your back starting to hurt. Like, what is this? Yeah. I saw a quote that said like um your body is kind of like a tool. Like if you leave it in the corner for long mm -hmm. and you don't exercise it, it's yeah. gonna start to rot. Yeah. So I don't wanna be rot. Yeah. Right. I wanna like start to take care of my body and things. So this year I started doing that. And I don't think I would ever like go back. So yeah. how I used to be, I used to be doing it most. Because I think I'm feeling better now, like, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. holistically. Feeling much better and a clearer mindset and things. Yeah, mm -hmm. true. So just taking care of your body, like, that should be, like, on the forefront of when you, especially when you're an adult and it's your responsibility, like, nobody here to tell you, oh, you can't eat that, don't eat that, wow. and stuff like that. Because 
moving from home like that, I used to be some cake in the morning and say, <laughs> because who could have stopped me? Yeah. <laughs> so I used to be eating whatever I want, yeah. but now, I'm like, let's take better care. Right, exactly. That is your home, that is your, you know, exactly. you get an next body like Correct. this. So let's take care of it. Okay, so one thing that I will not be doing um, going forward as an adult is putting a price down on my comfort. Oh, oh. <laughs> we told him what is for like a, a good while, a hot minute now, and it's like, listen, when it comes to clothes, when it comes to transport, when it comes to food, when it comes to anything, and neighbors always say this, right? If it doesn't cost a particular price, you know, it, it, it probably not good. If you want to invest in certain things, you want to invest in your um, as Nia was saying, like your body and your health and stuff, you want to invest in your safety, mm -hmm. you want to invest, you know, in how you look and stuff like that. So, you know, before I used to complain about money, this money, da da da. And now, you know, I will still be like, oh, look, the, the price to raise for this, but I'm not going to complain about it because it's like, if you know you need something, you need to be good for you and you have a standard, you want to keep that standard. You don't want to be like, okay, this is too much. Money, 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 and honestly, it kind of to me, it kind of stays a lot to like talking about money like that. You know, money gonna come, money gonna go. So, you want to put a price tag on the things that will make you better, the things that will keep you safe, and stuff like that. So, traveling somewhere, you know, now we'll get a TTRS or we'll get somebody to drop us, whatever. We're not gonna be traveling, crazy thing, you know. I don't do nothing anymore. Yeah, and like, you know, you, you want to buy an outfit and you, 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 before I would be like, you know what, I can get something cheaper. This time, mm. you, this time you think that I'm gonna buy it, it's flimsy. <laughs> you know, you get what and you want. Exactly. <laughs> and that is and that is that money. Yeah, and now it's like you're investing in nice pieces, you're looking clean, you're looking neat. I feel like, like when we were younger, I feel it was the quantity over quality. Yeah. And now it's quality over quantity. Though. And most of the time, when they were quality stuff, it it's quality money. money. Yeah. So and that's fine. Like just like I mean, cost money. Things cost money. Money. And, and if they're making you feel comfortable, yeah. Why not just get it? Sure. And don't have that. I want to get to spiritual, but don't have that restricted mindset of like, oh my gosh, like you're holding on to money. Like, mm. you know, yeah. Because money had a, I just always say money had like a spend. But at the same time, yes, be responsible, but mm -hmm. money had a spend. Yeah. Like there can be. It does flow, it'll come and go. Like exactly. that's how it is. It will always come and go. It'll always come and go. Mm -hmm. So you know, I think in and investing in yourself is a good good way to say exactly. that. Too. Some people ask you ask me like how come oh you always put together and the sun I because I was investing in myself. Exactly. I do my hair every month, I do my eyebrows. Like just little things little I know things. have me looking put together. Exactly. I make sure I'm doing because it does make me feel, feel good. good right? You look good, you feel good. Exactly. Exactly. So they're real simple. Exactly. Yeah, that is it. Yeah. My last point would be um, being lazy you now. I feel as though. <laughs> <laughs> When you get older, especially because recently I turned 25, I know people that say, oh, your front are low, but that's a really low, and that's a common. Yeah. Being lazy and have, you don't have space for that anymore. That no, space no, to be lying on your bed, like, that should get so Stop doing that. It's not bummed up. Get up and get to some work. Yeah. Like, I, I know to have time to where you don't feel up to doing stuff, but I just tell myself, like, that period of me just kind of procrastinating until I have time for that. Your future yes, on your back. <laughs> And this is every year one of my um New Year's resolution not, not to procrastinate. Every oh, year you know you try not to procrastinate. <laughs> yeah. Dog, how how you, long how long would you say the same thing? Even like doing school work, I'll be leaving stuff like last minute and then I'm yeah, um, stressing out myself. This semester mm -hmm. that was non-existent. I did most of my assignments. Like long really? before. When you procrastinate, you do not disturb the system. Yes, sir. Because literally, you're just putting off work and then your future. That, how I started to think about this, like, my future self not going and be cool about it. Yeah, exactly. So let me just, let me just do, a do and, and don't wait till you feel like you could do something. Like, do it in the moment. Like, don't wait, because you know you're supposed to. Don't wait yeah. until, oh, I'm feeling motivated. Exactly. Like, when you're being lazy, you're procrastinating. 
What do you do? You turn that it's supposed to be doing this stuff that you nothing. Nothing. And, and, and scrolling through social media, watching a show, something that is not even productive. So yeah, when, they, when, they, when they really look at it, you're literally wasting time. Wasting time. time I literally cannot get literally. back. And as you say, your future self, so you you literally dumping everything and feature. Yeah, yeah. You know what you're supposed to do. You know you have it planned only correctly, right? Mm -hmm. You just need to do it. Yeah. Because I'm doing things early, I realized too, because I'm a, I was a severe procrastinator. Because I used to always be like, I just do very best work under pressure. <laughs> and I do, eh? But I just realized that because I have more responsibilities now, that shit cannot work. Because sometimes you have responsibilities in the future, and then on top of that, things can happen yeah. that can prevent you. So you right. wait last minute to do something. Yeah. Like, you will not account. account. So now you you have the pressure to finish that, whatever you have to, whatever you put on. Then something unexpected happened, God forbid. And then you have responsibility. So it's like you're just putting yourself under unnecessary stress for yeah. years and yeah. And I find that, like, just cut all that out. And yeah. what, what helped me too with the procrastination is. Even if, like, let me say, I have to do like chores around the house and thing, and it's like a big clean day, mm -hmm. I just start small dog, and I realize it's a ripple effect. As soon as you get up and do something, you'll be like, all right, I can do the next exactly. day. Exactly. And then just do what you can, because your energy will always be the same. Yeah. Sometimes when I plan this, and my energy does be high, and then when time to do it, it's like it real low. Mm -hmm. But at least just start something. Just, just do one thing. Even if it's a clean your room, your energy low, and you make up your bed. That's still something like your your your, your progress. You didn't just like and not do nothing. Yeah. You're too old to not be doing nothing. That is so true. Yeah. You is not warm. Wake up, wake up. Yeah. <laughs> wake up, shake up, shake up, shake up, shake up. What do you get? The more experience you have, it's like you want to put things together. You want yeah. to be yeah. organized. Yeah. You want to do certain things. And I feel we definitely and more reach that stage. And it's only up from here. Yeah, it's only up. It's only up. Listen. Okay guys, so that's the end of this video. If you want a part two because we have I much love more to say. <laughs> Always. You know? So, um, so guys, don't forget to like, like comment, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in our next video. Bye. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah